Very choppy week. We want to go back and look at what would have worked really well this week and how does that compare to our other strategies and how does that compare to the past. NQ Chopper, a strategy that I, I uh, last modified in 2005. I never traded this strategy, but over the past month, this strategy is up $22,235. 9615 drawdown, 164 trades. Let's look at the weeklies. Periodic returns, $14,310 just this week. Should you trade this strategy? The answer is probably not, but we're looking at this because it's only one month. And it's so much different than the rest of our strategies. Look how well it did just this week on 1019. We talk about how choppy this week is. And so you go back and say, okay, how choppy was this week? Was this really a choppy week more than the norm? And how does this compare to previous really choppy weeks? And you see how choppy this week was. After Monday sell-off, just a massive chop here. The market did not sell off much further. It stayed at the lower end of the range. On Thursday, it took this dip. Friday, you see this dip right here. It took this dip right here. And then on Friday, it took a little bit of a dip. But ended up, the most of the week, just trading at this lower end of the range from Monday sell-off. And so was this week choppier than most weeks ever? And the answer is pretty much. When I look back a longer history, I did run the optimization tool just to see uh, a maximal scenario. And then I did also apply this to gold. I applied this to gold, and this CHOP strategy works in gold going back to 8, 10, 2020. The equity curve is actually up. This one actually has slippage and commission. This one does not. These have end-of-day exits, which are hard to implement in real trading. You have to manually get out. And so it doesn't hold trades overnight, but it takes a lot of trades. And so going back what, two months and 12 days in gold. This is incredible. It looks even more incredible without slippage and commission. But with slippage and commission, 67.19, you're, um, you know, just buying the dips, selling the rips. Um, and it's Bollinger Band strategy, basically. Uh, basic Bollinger Band, selling the upper band, buying the lower band. I actually put this one in the portfolio calculator tool. I've updated the portfolio calculator tool through Friday. And I've added a few of our beta strategies that uh, I've sent out to all strategy access clients in TradeStation. And I'm going to show you uh, which ones I've added. Look at the portfolio calculator. Look how this, this actually, when you look back at this strategy um, and you add it to the portfolio calculator, it does actually does not hurt the worst case drawdown. Going back to 2013 on some of these portfolios. So that's interesting. And I want to go back and show you a longer historical chart first and then I'm going to show you the portfolio calculator. So I'm going to adjust the date on this and then show it to you in the portfolio calculator. So going back two years you see how incredible this strategy has done in the last since 8, 12, 20. It has not had this sort of equity peak since um, ever over the last two years but since 8, 12, 2020 this market has become so choppy a strategy like this has actually done pretty well. I'm going to go further back and we're going to take another look at this. So here is what this strategy looks like um, if you test this back to 2003 with slippage and commission. And not great. It's uh, not, not, an not an equity curve you'd get excited about. But what if we place it in the portfolio calculator? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make an adjustment for the end of day exit so you're not exiting at the end of the day at the close of the last bar. You can't implement that in real trading. So I'm going to make a time adjustment, see how it changes the strategy, and then add it to the portfolio calculator and see how it affects the portfolio. A lot of work to figure this out. But I've mentioned how sometimes a negative equity curve can actually improve a portfolio if something does really well when all the other strategies are doing poorly. And I'm going to do that. You see how well it does right here. So could this be uh, a new normal? Probably not, but um, what, is, what happens if we implement this? You see a really good week right here uh, back in 2011, September of 2011 through November of 2011. And that would be, um, let's see, there's, there's some time periods 
where this actually does pretty well. And so not a strategy you'd think about trading, but you have to consider all possibilities. I know it seems a little crazy to trade this sort of equity curve uh, with other strategies. Probably not a good idea, but I just want to take a look at it. I'm going to share this research with you kind of in real time as I develop this. Now here is the strategy with the um, time exit. We don't trade on the last bar. If it's that last bar, then we don't take a trade, and we also exit um, at that at, at this last bar on the day. So this this is the result. So if the time is equal to um, 16:55, then we exit at the open of that bar, um, and we don't take a trade on that bar. So you're not taking a trade. Um, on this bar for the last bar. So doesn't hold positions overnight. And let's take a look. Um, how does that affect the portfolio calculator? Look at this. You're probably thinking, what what is going on here? I want to make a couple of points, so stay with me on this in portfolio theory. One the, one theory is, is that you could trade a negative equity curve strategy uh, to improve your overall portfolio. Um, another idea is that... Um, you know the fact how how bad does a bad strategy a lot of a lot of times we look at a strategy in a losing streak and we say man this is doing terrible let's get rid of this one strategy I want to show you how how it, the uh, the effects of a strategy like this on a portfolio and the benefits of trading a portfolio of trading systems so um, the only reason I get this arrow is because I don't have all the uh, data files opened up that are importing into this they are already, already imported so let's look at um, what um, what we're talking about here. This is the all 77 all strategy access portfolio. I've transitioned to the 60 minute breakout short one minute and after hours ES2. So the max drawdown went from around 32.9 to 31.6 with that change. Wasn't trying to reduce the drawdown, but it did on the all 77 portfolio. So that's good. And then as of this week. Um, as of Friday to the $16,621 drawdown. So good entry point if you'd like to get in on drawdowns, halfway roughly to a worst case drawdown, and down six thousand or 5000 this month, down 4400 last month, and so it's an ideal entry point. Uh, we don't typically see two losing months in a row. Um, we had July was challenging, big bounce back in August, September was down, October is down so far, and so Looking to close up on the month potentially. Unusual times with the um, you know, pandemic and election coming up. And so looking at some different strategies. Here is the equity, here is the drawdown curve. Love the cyclical nature of this drawdown curve. So we're going to see the effects of this gold chopper, uh, chopper gold strategy on, on this. And this is with $25 round turn slippage and commission and this strategy that loses $400,000. And we're going back to 2003 on the data. On TradeStation, this only looks at to, to 2008. So um, I don't want to change it there. You want to change it over here in this column. So I'm going to change it in column 113. And we're changing Chopper Gold to this. And with this, we only have one losing month on 2020. And so that's good. The last two months, it would have helped the last two months. Change the overall profit on the year from 217 to 209, so a small decrease in the total PL. How does it affect the overall performance? The performance was, I think, 2.7 million. Let's look at it. Let's look at these numbers up here. So if you remove this, you're up 2.7 million. 85.56 return over, uh, profit over drawdown. Uh, $31,000 max drawdown. 31.601. 16.621 is the current drawdown. And let's look at what it is with Chopper Gold. And you see it goes to 68,000. The current drawdown doesn't change much. 15.176. It is up on the month. Now let's look at where that drawdown occurred. So this is what's interesting. So this happened back in 2013. This is when the $68,000 drawdown occurred. Since then, since since July or June 20th, 2013, 
what is the worst case drawdown? It is, let's look at this number here. Thirty seven eighty six twenty five. I had to pause the video to really lock in on that. You see thirty seven eighty six twenty five and so it's lower. The drawdown since June of twenty thirteen is lower. Thirty seven eighty six twenty five. And it'd be neat to see this without the data prior to June twenty uh, 2013, you can do that by going into the daily P&L and deleting the data before June 20th, 2013. I might do that in a minute. I want to show you a couple other things real quick. So it's interesting that since June 20th, 2013, this does actually does not hurt the worst case drawdown. So you take a strategy this this poor, um, you put it in the portfolio. Where is where is 2013? Right here, from this time frame minus 254,000 to 379, so it's only lost 125,000 in the last seven years. So you take a strategy, it lost 100, 125,000 in the last seven years, and it, re and it reduces your worst case drawdown since that time frame, since June 20th, 2013. Your worst case drawdown only goes down, only is uh, down 1,000. So we're not doing this necessarily to make the worst case drawdown go down by just a thousand dollars but to trade but to have the opportunity to trade a system like this that's so much different um, actually reduces the, actually doesn't increase the worst case drawdown actually improves the last couple of months uh, actually consideration of anticipation of further chop what do you do if there's further chop uh, do you wish it away or do you do something about it and let's look at I also want to look at VSD NQ and EVP1 NQ. I've added those to the portfolio calculator as well as gap continuation 2019 with one max daily entry and $700 stop loss. And I'm going to add these two right now. Uh, right here, if you add EVP1 and VSD NQ, these are beta strategies for all strategy access subscribers in TradeStation. I don't have, you can't do VSD in NinjaTrader because of a special volume function. And so look at Look at the last two months. Um, those are some of the new strategies, and um, you know it, it, get, it gets rid of all the losing months in 2020. So up 349. So if you're adding these, um, DSD is long only. EVP one and Q takes short trades as well. Another thing you can consider doing is adding short only one minute ES. What would happen if we did that? Let's look at that real quick. Short only ES. You improve it a little bit f further, 373. So you, the reason I want to do that is because VSD is long only. <clears throat> so I want to add an additional uh, short only. And then let's look at the worst case drawdown. Again, you have this. Going back to, uh, it takes a little bit of time to figure out how to click on these numbers real quickly. It's probably about the same time frame in, let's see, June 20, 2013. Uh, the worst case drawdown goes down a little bit more. It was 68, now it's 66. Now what's the worst case drawdown since that time frame? It's 31,867.50. You see that? 531, same day. We don't increase the worst case drawdown when we add these four strategies since June 20th, 2013. And so this is, it's in a $23,000 drawdown. So your risk profile as you go into Monday's trade, if the worst case drawdown is about 32K since June, and if you're, if you're um, looking at worst case drawdown since June, you're thinking um, you're $10,000 away. So you could risk $10,000 trading an additional four strategies instead of 77 strategies you're trading 81 strategies now you're adding 60 minute breakout short 1m uh, you added that one where is it right here 60 minute breakout short 1m you added uh, VSD NQ and EVP1 NQ and chopper gold and Adding four strategies, no losing months on the year. Um, 2019, you have one losing month in July and in May. 
And then 2018, 397, 373. So you're you're focused on modern, you're focused on recent markets since June of 2013 instead of back to 2008. And you you anticipate um, more chop going into the election. What are you going to do about that? Um, you see where this worst case drawdown is. If you want to trade this setup, um, you can do so with the all strategy access. If you have the all strategy access portfolio, um, you should have all these strategies except chopper gold. If you want to add that, this is Saturday morning. I'm doing this early Saturday morning for your research. And if you want to implement that, let me know. I'll try to get it out to you before Sunday night's trade. And um, busy, busy weekend with the family. So I wanted to let you know about where the portfolio, where each of these portfolios are. So I'm going to go back and we're going to take a look at the portfolios. I'm also going to add in Chopper NQ. And you can play with that yourself on your side. I'm going to update the portfolio calculator on the website so you can download it on the new website. I'm making a detailed video here for those that like research. 60 minute breakout, short 1M, deleting that. So this is our basic portfolio of where we are now. Going into the trade, you're 16, 621 out of 31, 6, 6 and so good, good time to enter. Um, good time to potentially enter this in a drawdown, and we're going into the election again. So uh, here is where the drawdown. Let me get the pointer out to show you where the drawdown is in the all 77. Then we're going to go over the other portfolios as well. So important time as we. Um, you know, less than two weeks away from the election, and how do we trade this? What are the opportunities that exist? Stock index 19, 84.25 drawdown out of 23k. You see where we are, uh, minus 49.15 on the month, and we will look at 36, 36k or 36 system all uh, stock index portfolio, 16,000 out of 42,000 dollar drawdown. And it's down in September. It's down so far in October. We we're looking forward to October. So we'll see. More chop than normal. You saw July down. Massive bounce back in August. September down. And then this in October. So that's why we're looking at potentially adding very choppy strategies uh, that, that do well. And so you see the equity curve is where the drawdown curve is right now. And let's look at... 200k portfolio, 67.32.50, 26 out of you know it's it's uh where is the drawdown? Here's where the drawdown curve looks like. It's made a bounce back off those lows recently, and it is at minus 32.70 on the month. It's done well trading two contracts of tick count trend two. Uh, that strategy has done well in this counter trend market environment this week. 25K made a little bit of a bounce back this week. It was down uh, around $6,400. At a worst case drawdown, roughly. Now it's bounced back about $1,600 from there. Uh, $2,867.50. It's a little bit slower portfolio. Only 10 strategies. You're not trading as many. The drawdowns aren't usually as rapid. This one, uh, Night Trader, has struggled. And so that's the main reason for this drawdown. It had a good trade in crude oil yesterday. And here is the drawdown curve for the 25K portfolio. You see where it is, where it was. If you're looking for a, a smaller portfolio, less strategies, um, you're in this drawdown right here. Not doing too bad. Here are some, here are some recent worst case drawdowns in the last few years. And here's the all time. So it's made these lows here, made this low here, and it's bounced back a little bit. And so that's where it is on the 25K, 50K portfolio. It's a popular portfolio for those that, that are either starting multi-system portfolios, smaller accounts, want to be a little bit less ag aggressive. The more strategy you have, it's harder to keep up with if you don't have um, you know, the technical skills to do so. Managing a lot of strategy isn't for everyone. Um, and so this is a slower, uh, slower pace portfolio. Micro stock index and gold portfolio. It's in a 1908 uh, drawdown out of 35.76, and 
it's let's see where it is on the drawdown. Let's look at the drawdown curve. So it's down the month, 363 per unit. And if you look here, um, $2,000 drawdown roughly is where we are. So if you're trading five contracts, you're down 10,000 off the recent equity peaks. And you see where the worst case drawdowns are. Very cyclical nature though. Good entry point, good time to add contracts. If you're looking at buffering a worst case drawdown, so if it does make a worst case drawdown and you start here instead of when it's at equity peak, you are still within risk tolerance of your initial risk of what you were looking at. And so it gives you the opportunity to, to sit through worst case drawdowns when you start in a drawdown. Like we said before in, in previous webinars and videos, we do expect portfolios to sometimes break down at worst case drawdowns, hit worst case drawdowns and bounce or make adjustments. 100K day trade portfolios actually at equity peaks and is actually up on the month by 6,042.50. September was 54.82.50. And so day trade portfolio could be the way to go. 100K day trade it has 35 strategies in it. And it's at equity peaks. The liquid day trade portfolio, more strategies in a $10,892 drawdown. And 34 down 34.56 on the month. And that's your counter trend 234. It's in it's down $7,500 on the month. We've talked about this one a lot. Yes, sir, counter trends, you know, have underperformed since the pandemic. Strong first quarter and lots of a lot more fast V movements that don't work as well. Still uh, still a riddle on how to catch those V movements. Chopper could you know, on an intraday basis, catch those V movements, but um, very hard to capture on a large scale. So SR Counter Trend has gone through a struggle. It's a methodology that uh, we are looking at and analyzing and, and studying as well. But I don't want to, you don't, you know, like to have knee-jerk reactions and just cut everything in a drawdown. And so, main thing I want to show you in this portfolio is the latest portfolio results, uh, the opportunities to add new strategies. Uh, that we've already distributed for the all strategy access as far as EVP1, VSDNQ, and then if you want to, since VSD is long only, you might want to trade 60 minute break, sh breakout short one minute, uh, short only, the one that doesn't reverse on the long signals when it stopped out, and then chopper gold, and I'm going to add chopper NQ to this, and you can do the analysis on your end. I'll have the sp uh, spreadsheet updated if you want to start with the portfolios by Monday. Uh, let me know, and they're in, at, at a good place in the drawdown curve to start. And if you want to add some of these chopper strategies, if you have the all strategy access, let me know. Once again, VSD uh, couldn't be programmed in NinjaTrader. Uh, some of these other new strategies could. It'll take a little bit of time to get them into NinjaTrader, though. So that's the update. Long video, more like a webinar, but I wanted to give you this important update as we go into the election. It's early Saturday, uh, October the 24th, 2020, about two months and one week left in 2020.